here's how they will go to post. Driving to number 34, it's Ben Bargnesi from Norwich, Connecticut. Franklin Street Car Wash, Tiggs Auto Machine, sponsor that car. Outside of him, driving the 04, that is Christina Cunliffe from Stratford, Connecticut. Trans Clean, JP's Hobby Shop, Green Cycle Grillo are the sponsors for her. Up next on the inside of row number two, it's the 93. That is Taftville, Connecticut's Jeff Soup Savardi, CB Fabrication, WL Bond Trucking are the sponsors. Then in the fourth starting spot will be the number 28. That is Ron Fortune from Carolina, Rhode Island. Starting fifth on the field, it's Uncle Buck, the number 33, Chuck Rogers from Quaker Hill, Connecticut. Then on the starting in the sticks, the sixth starting spot will be the number 91. That is Chris Williams from Niantic, Connecticut. Going off in position number seven from Wood River Junction, Rhode Island, that is the 38 of Ian Brew. Circle Team Masonry, Madison Signs, and Chuck Main are his sponsors. Then eighth on the field is the number zero, that is Bo Norman. From Clinton, Connecticut, Koch and Son Well and Pump Services, a and Auto Parts, are the sponsors for Bo Norman. Starting ninth on the field will be the number 37, that is Joe Godbout. From Hope Valley, Rhode Island, GCR Specialties, Dunkey Heating and Cooling, and Extra Mart are the sponsors on the 37 machine. Going off the 10th starting spot will be the number 8, that is William Leonard from Wood River Junction, Holmes Garage, I Like Dave Electric, and Performance Plus are his sponsors. Starting 11th on the field, the 2005 track champion in the mini stock division, that is the number 18 of Danny Field. Starting 12th on the field will be the number 11, that is Ken Cassidy from Lisbon, Connecticut. Starting in the 13th starting spot is the number 88, that is Dave Sylvia. Starting in the 14th spot is the 81, that is Richard uh, Phil Alvins from Hunkersville, Connecticut. Starting in the 15th starting spot will be the 65, that is Richard Brooks from Groton. Starting 16th on the field is the 83 from Norwich, Connecticut, classic used parts, U.S. Food Service of Christopher Lee. Starting 17th on the field is the 05, that is Terry Morgillo from Niantic, Niantic River Transmission. To her right will be the number 50, that is Scott Belisle. From Jewett City, Jason Snide Plumbing, Rainville Logging, and H. Baker Remodeling are the sponsors of that car. Starting 19th on the field is the number 6, that is Nick Powell. Chad Williams really is uh, paying close scrutiny to the field and now displays the green. This time he likes what he sees as they are an even start, but Christina Cunliffe gets the jump on the outside, looks to pull out in front of Ben Bargnesi as they go down the backstretch. It's not easy being Ben, ben Bargnesi as uh, he falls back and now he surges in front and uh, he rattles against the wall, car comes back down. A nasty mess in turn number three, bringing out the yellow. And it looks like Phil Evans might be in the middle of that. One of the front runners, uh, heavy hitters here at the bowl, involved in that uh, multi-car altercation. So we said it wasn't easy being marked easy, and uh, that apparently was the case. Definitely was so, as he got in early trouble down the backstretch. Christina Conlath. And it's Jeff Savardi and Ron Fortune. They take the green flag as we get back underway. Savardi on the inside, Fortune on the outside. Right on the back bumper of Savardi is the 33 of Chuck Rogers as Savardi jumps out to the lead. Also jumping into the top five is the 37 of Joe Godbout the third. So Godbout on the bottom groove has joined the top five. Battle on the outside. Ron Fortune trying to hang tough. A little three wide scenario. And now of trouble is Leonard. Gets involved in a little bit of a squeeze play. Can he keep it moving? Chad is telling him to get it going, and that car will not cooperate. And we are back under yellow. Start Chad Williams looks him over. Green flag will fly. It is Savardi who gets the early jump on Uncle Buck as they go down into turn number one. But they are still side by side as they have worked their way through two. So Savardi trying to get the upper hand and now moving out in front is Chuck Rogers. So Rogers in front and all over him like frost on the windshield is Soup Savardi. The two drivers go high coming around is Fortune as he uh, Brahma bulls his way around and a lot of drivers get caught up in it. Nick Papakota in a six car 
the 21 of Kyle James. Also, also hammering his way, but it looks like a clean move for Chuck Rogers against Soup Savardi. Rogers jumps out to the lead. Now Savardi falls back in the second spot, and now Ian Brew on the inside looks to gain this, the second spot away from, from Savardi as they go down the back stretch. Brew can do as he holds on to second. Savardi looks pretty fast on the outside, and the Soup gallops back in the second. Chris Williams on the outside, also a factor. The man they're trying to hunt down is Uncle Buck, Chuck Rogers, who got that name because of a Buck Rogers and not because of the movie of uh, John Candy fame. Chuck Rogers sits in the lead now. It is Chris Williams on the outside of Jeff Savardi looking to power his way all the way around for that second spot and make a run on the lead. Now he gets his fender up to the back panel of Rogers taking on the back stretch, and now they are side by side into turn number three. As they screech their way off the fourth corner, Rogers holding off the driver with the momentum. Chris Williams, and speaking of momentum, what about Dave Sylvia in car number 88? The retirement party is on hold, and he has joined the top four cars, and it looks like Williams moving very well on the outside. They swing their way off the corner again, and we have a new leader. Williams nudges his way out to the lead off the 33 of Rogers. Now he looks to complete that pass. They go down the back stretch. He's got a three quarters of the car through. Now he has the lead all by himself. And now on the outside of the 33 Rogers is the 88 of Sylvia, the Budweiser Modified Nationals winner. So the outside groove has been very friendly to both Chris Williams and a Dave Sylvia. The Sylvia jackknifes his way into the number two position. Chris Williams doesn't have really that much time during the week to work on his uh, race car because he is busy with construction all week long. But right now he has built a pretty uh, sizable lead over Dave Sylvia, who is uh, gaining ground lap after lap. Sylvia and Williams have checked out from the rest of the pack as Williams leads the way. Sylvia running second. We have Chuck Rogers in third in a battle for the fourth spot is the 93 of Savardi, and now the 65 of Richard Brooks has worked his way around the outside. So it is Rogers trying to hold on the assault of Richard Brooks. Down to 10 laps to go. Brooks on the outside, breathing down the tailpipe of Uncle Buck. And if anybody can make magic happen on the outside, it is Rich Brooks, and he will stampede his way into the number three spot. As he looks to power around the 33 of Rogers, now making his entry into the top five is the 18 of Danny Field, also looking to make that outside line stick and work for him as he looks to get around the 33. It is Danny Field all over Chuck Rogers like cinnamon on fried dough, but he can't go uh, past the 33 on this occasion. Meanwhile, the plot thickens at the front. The brightest sparks are being lit by Chris Williams. What a run would this be for him? trying to get his first ever mini stock win. He's going to have to handle the veteran. It is Dave Sylvia. As they go down the back stretch now, Sylvia right on the back bumper of Williams looks to make a move to the inside as they go into turn number three. Williams is able to fight him off as they come off turn number four. Once again, Sylvia looks to the inside, but there is nothing there as Chris Williams holds on to the lead. Well, he might have some room if he can get there, and that's a pretty big if considering how strongly that Williams has run. Rich Brooks always a factor when the laps go to single digits. He is in third and Danny Field is in fourth. So we have a newcomer up at the front as far as the winner's circle is concerned and three of the best this division has ever seen are chasing him down. As they come off turn number four this time by there are just five laps to go for Chris Williams to hold on. He has the 88 of Silva right on his back bumper and now closing in is the 65 of Richard Brooks. Randy Johnston is on the access road in car number three. It is a tale of two drivers at the front. Chris Williams, Dave Sylvia, but maybe in a lap. It could be a tale of four drivers as Brooks and Field moving strongly. Yellow is out as a skirmish in turn two. Papakota in the middle of that one along with Matt. Getting a close look at the action, and he gives the go-ahead. A good start for the 88 of David Sylvia as he jumps on out, and he is trailed right there by the 18 of Danny Field as Williams had a problem coming up to speed. And Sylvia might have got a little friendly push from Danny Field that uh, he was able to get the great escape. So uh, like a Cape Canaveral missile, it is Dave Sylvia out in front trying to get win number two. The defending champion is in his tire tracks. 
after a struggling week last week. Now it is Danny Field right on the back bumper of David Sylvia. Running in the third spot is the 65 of Richard Brooks. Then we have the 33 of Uncle Buck, Chuck Rogers in fourth, and a battle between Joe Godbout and the eight of Bill Leonard. And Dave, uh, Bill Leonard was stranded just a few laps ago, and what a great comeback he has made. We're down to the final two. It is a story between Dave Sylvia and a wild man, Danny Field, who has room on the bottom. Field looks to make the pass work on the inside of Sylvia as they're in turn number one. Side by side, they roar through turn number two and down the back stretch. Field inching his way out into the lead over Sylvia, but now Sylvia gets a run on that outside line as he's made it work all night. This time by, just one lap left. Can Danny Field complete the pass? And it looks like he has in turn number one. David Sylvia has not yet given up on that lead in the win as they go down the back stretch. Sylvia trails Field as they go into turn number three. The 18 of Danny Field leads the way. David Sylvia looks a good dive bomb on the inside as they come off turn number four, but the 18 of Danny Field will hold on to the win. In second is the 88 of David Sylvia, and fourth, in third is the 65 of Richie, Richard Brooks. Fourth is the eight. point. A come from behind victory for the driver of car number 18 from Deep River, Connecticut, Danny Field. And Danny smiles no matter what, but he's especially smiling tonight. What happened during the final pair of laps that uh, allowed you to pull off a very exciting win? I don't know. It was a lot of fun, though. Uh, we just got to the bottom a little bit. I think Dave slid up a little bit, and uh, the car just was hooked up down there, and we just wanted to go. Now, you're off to a little sluggish start this year. What did you do to turn things around? Nothing. Nothing. We are, we are going good the first two weeks. We just had bad luck. I want to thank uh, Hayes Custom Cycles. I want to thank St. Pierre Builders. I want to thank Jeff Berman. I want to thank my crew, my crew chief, Rick Hansen, Cliff, everybody that helps me on the car, Roger. Uh, Larry's Auto Machine for putting a motor in this car. It's got a great motor in it, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And it was fun to watch this man get his first win of the year, the wild man, Danny Field.